हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू ओके एस एफ डी सी सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द बेसिक्स ऑफ एल डब्ल्यू सी सो विल बिगिन विद द डेकोरेटर्स बट बिफोर दैट एज यू हैव सीन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ एल डब्ल्यू सी आई विल रिकमेंड यू टू गो विद द सेटअप सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अनादर वीडियो विच टॉक्स अबाउट द सेटअप ऑफ वी एस कोड एंड लाइटनिंग वेब कॉम्पोनेंट्स सो यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो and then come back here let us first explore the decorator properties now so there are three types of decorators track api and wire basically decorators are supported by ecmascript but these three types of decorators are specially built for lightning web component now let's just take a look at track so track is a private reactive property but after spring 20 the track decorator is no longer required for rendering what does that mean so i'll tell you this with one example so first i'll tell you about one of the use case here so track was basically used to render the things so you have two things right first is your ui and second is your javascript so what used to happen before this is let's say if you are displaying some variable values on the ui and that variable if you have not declared it as a track then whenever you change that particular variable it was not reflecting in the ui but if you put that particular variable in the console log then you can see the actual value the changed value in console but you cannot see that value in the ui and this is a very big problem faced by lot many developers in their projects so the work around for this was you have to use the track so what salesforce has done after the spring 20 release you don't need to declare a variable as a track so by default all the variables are reactive that means any of the variable you are using in the ui and you are changing that value based on some condition then it will reflect in the ui it will re-render the ui basically but still there is one condition for which you have to use the track and what is that special case that is also mentioned in the release notes so i'll show you that so this is full name variable so let's take an example of full name which they have given so this full name is a array which they have declared which has basically two parameters we can say two properties first is first name and second is last name now when you initialize this full name or when you change this variables like this this dot full name equal to you assign the first name as well as last name with some value then what will happen so this full name wherever you are referring to in the ui it will reflect so the component will actually re-render but if you are trying to change the value of first name only this dot full name dot first name if you are trying to change then it will change in the array but it will not reflect in the ui so what you need to do is for such special cases you need to have this array declared as track so when you declare this array as track now even if you are just changing the first name it will reflect in the component it will reflect in your ui so this is a special case of track which you should know now second is api which is a public reactive property and third is wire so what is a public reactive property so let's say you have two components with parent child relationship now inside the child you have few methods or variables now from parent you can actually access or call these methods and variables from the child 
but for that what you need to do is you need to expose them as a api decorator which means you need to expose them as public so when they are a public property now you can easily access that particular method or variable from your parent component so this is the concept of api and talking about the wire so wire is basically to read the salesforce data so it's a reactive service which is used just to read the data from salesforce so we'll see more details on this this is what is mentioned in the documentation so same thing so api is basically a public property you can decorate a method or a field or let's say a variable basically with api so that it can be called from your parent component and this is the track which is a private reactive property and we have just seen the good use case when you should use track now let's just go ahead okay connecting server so basically so you got two methods imperative and wire both of them are used to fetch the necessary details from your apex basically now there is one more thing about the refresh that i have mentioned here so let's say if you want to get the latest data then what you need to do in imperative method is you need to call that method again so let's say you have one method to fetch some details after that you do some changes but you cannot see that in the ui that's because you have not called that method again so for imperative methods you need to call that method again and again when you want to fetch the latest data for wire method if you want to fetch the latest details you need to use apex refresh so apex refresh is a concept which is used with the wire methods in order to fetch the latest details so these details you can find in documentation so wherever you are using the wire method you should definitely think that whether you will need this apex refresh in your code or not so i'll show you one small demo here so let's just look at the components that i have built so first one is get accounts this component i have built by using imperative method and there is one more component get contacts wire so this particular component i have built using wire method both of them are just fetching the data from apex i'll show you the javascript methods now so this is about the account list.js so this is fetching the accounts this is basically a imperative method so this is uh, called inside the connected callback connected callback is the first method which is getting called at the time of loading your component so inside that i have called the get accounts method which is basically calling that apex method and whatever you get in return is basically stored in results and these results i am assigning again to this dot accounts and the same this dot accounts is reflected in the ui in the table basically so this is about the imperative method and i have used the track to declare the account array now let's just explore the contact list js so here we have used the wire property so if you see the number of lines of code is really reduced here now if you can see the html code what i did is whatever i am getting in contacts this particular array i am assigning in data table so whatever i am getting in contacts or accounts i am just showing inside the data table so lightning data table is a standard base component which you can explore from the documentation and for both account and contact i have used it okay so now i will just show you one important thing about the refresh so as this accounts and contacts both have displayed here and this is one component i have created to create new contact so what i'll do is i'm just uh, creating one new contact here and i'll give the name as triple a space test 
same for the last name and I'll give the email as AAA at the red test dot com so why I am giving triple A is so that it will reflect at the very beginning of the list great so contact is created but I cannot see in this table that's because I have not used apex refresh now I am just refreshing this page and checking if it exists so okay so this contact which we have created just now is reflecting in the table so this is about the wire and imperative methods now the next part is communication between components